Hello and thank you for watching the video. I'm back here with the 1997 Toyota Camry and uh, we're going to be replacing the interior light on this today. So uh, what has happened is the light is, bulb is burned out so whenever you open the door you get no light inside the interior of the car and I've never changed the bulb and I'm thinking that it's probably been in there since 1997. So uh, we're going to try to replace that today. As you can see, it's got three settings on, off, and door. And let's set it on door just to make sure that it is burned out. So I've got some bulbs that I ordered here. These are uh, Mars Auto LED lighting bulbs. And got a bunch of these for a really good price, under 10 bucks. Um, so yeah, they're individual. I don't know what says do not separate, but uh, here's a look at one right here. So I'm uh, laying down here on my back and trying to get as comfortable as I can before I start doing this. So uh, we have to remove this right here from the housing and look how thin the sides are right here. We have to do it, we have to pry it, pry this lens out. And uh, this stuff is really old. It has uh, become more rigid over the years. So I'm not gonna be shocked if I break this right here somewhere. Let's hope not. There's only one place to put a screwdriver. And what I'm going to do before I start prying is I'm going to go around the edges. Um, if you've got like a thin scraper, that would probably work. I've got this spatula here. And let me show you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spatula and I'm just going to try to go between the lens and this trim here. And this... Yeah, so I've got it in there. Sorry about the camera work. So I've got it in there. Uh, it needs to be even thinner than this. And I've noticed that it has been changed one time because you can kind of see where somebody's done that. I didn't do that. So, yeah, just kind of like going around in case it has sealed itself. I'm going to be shocked if I can do this without breaking this trim. Alright, this may be a better way to do it instead of using that screwdriver in one place just taking something <sighs> all right let's grab that screwdriver and we're going to try to push it in and out all right so here we are with the screwdriver I just don't know how you do this. Let's go back to the uh, spatula. We're actually open down here.
This should not be this hard. Okay, there we go. So see how it slides in from the back. That's what we have inside. I have no idea how that uh, bug got in there. That thing was sealed. I'm going to clean this up. Take a closer look at the edges on this thing. Just a second. All right, so you can see where it goes in here. There's two little lips there. That's really probably where you need to do the prying. It's just in the very center, kind of get closer to those lips. Uh, that locks in back here. So that's where it locks in. It snaps in right there. There's the bulb and so let's say you're supposed to pry this out. Um, make sure you don't break break the bulb there. I'm gonna have to shift my body so that my face is not directly under this and I'm gonna probably pry uh, right under here or under here. Okay, I've got this paintbrush. Uh, this is a plastic uh, paintbrush. I'll test this for continuity, but uh, the wire is still intact. You know, maybe broken at the end. But uh, a little disappointment, these bulbs are not going to work in the interior, the dome light up here. Um, now these are kind of universal bulbs for other, like a, a license plate or a, maybe a side marker. Uh, but it did specifically say interior dome light. And so it's obvious that that's not the same bulbs. All right, so we got the multimeter here set um, on the ohms setting here. So we're getting continuity here. I'm getting nothing here. At all on the bulb here. Where my hand was in the way there, but yeah, see, I'm getting nothing here. So the bulb is bad. So we will uh, go get the right bulb and see if we can put it back in place. Okay, bought two. Six dollars thirty-five cents. DE three one seven five. This is Sylvania. Pack of two. Okay, should be wearing gloves, I guess, if I want to, uh, this to last longer. But I don't have any gloves, so we're just going to go ahead and try to put it in place. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's go for door over here. All right, awesome. So with the bulb in place, we're gonna take the lens now. We're gonna go in the back first, and then we're just gonna to try to snap it right in place. time I guess. Ah, there we go. 
all right so thanks for watching um note uh, it's probably better to make sure that you have the bulb out and can see what it looks like and actually go inside uh, the store or see a picture uh, in this case i wasn't able to do that it was just going by what the advertisement was and i can still use these i'm guessing for uh, other parts other bulbs you know that i, I need to replace in the car uh, but definitely not this uh, dome light so uh kind of learned a lesson here that's the per the uh part number again 97 camry through 2001 i believe thank you for watching the video until next time have a great day take care